iCloud and iCloud Drive are, at least in theory, a great way to keep your files shared between all your Apple devices. iPhone, iPad, computer, Apple TV, and for you early adopters, the Apple Watch. Think of the iCloud, iCloud Drive duo as the Apple-branded remote server storage, the iOS version of Dropbox or Google Drive. And everyone knows how user-friendly Apple products are, so you shouldn't expect any problems with their cloud service, right? Wrong. iCloud is certainly not foolproof, and it's easy to make a mistake when using or installing it. That's why, before you do anything related to iCloud or iCloud Drive, or before you update an operating system, you must back up your files. Back up your files right now. Yes, all of them. Use a non-Apple-related cloud storage system like the aforementioned Dropbox, or copy your stuff to an external hard drive. Why? Because turning on iCloud, moving to iCloud Drive, or installing iOS 8 point whatever can accidentally delete documents and photos from your device or computer. Sometimes they've only been wiped from your hard drive or phone memory and are still in the cloud, if you've had iCloud settings turned on, or might be stored in this sneaky catch-all mobile backup folder on your Mac. Sometimes, though, they'll have disappeared into the Apple black hole after your update and are gone for good. So take the time and back everything up. It's worth it. Another pre-upgrade thing to remember is that, as mentioned earlier, iCloud and iCloud Drive are not the same thing. Here's the difference. With iCloud, you can sync and save documents and access them anywhere. iCloud Drive, on the other hand, adds in an extra feature. Now you can open, save, and sync files between different apps and devices. It also comes with a separate, but equal, feature, the iCloud Photo Library, which holds, you guessed it, your photos. The iPhone 6 ships with iCloud Drive already installed. It's a feature of iOS 8. But if you are an older phone user, meaning your iPhone didn't come with iOS 8, an upgrade is required on your end. However, some phones can't make the switch. The iPhone 4 and 4S are the newest models forever stuck in iOS 7. And in that case, sorry, no iCloud Drive for you. On the flip side, once you do upgrade a compatible device to iCloud Drive, that's it. There's no getting rid of it, though it can be turned off. This is basically Apple's version of no backsies. But before you rush to click that upgrade button, and reminder, 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 back up your files, please note that Macs must have the latest version of OS X, currently Yosemite, installed in order for iCloud Drive to play nicely with your iPhone or iPad. How do you know if you have all the right operating systems running? Here's a simple test. Does your settings icon look like this or like this? Moving on. The nuts and bolts of iCloud Drive are not in the same place as they are for iCloud, though their basic controls are both accessible via settings. iCloud Drive is structured very differently for iPads and iPhones than it is for Macs, too. PCs are another story entirely. On an iPhone or iPad, iCloud is located in settings, which looks like a little gray cog. Here is where you can select from a limited list of what will auto-sync across your gadgets, contacts, notes, reminders, calendars, etc. iCloud Drive, however, doesn't have a central location on an Apple device. It can be turned on or off in the iCloud section of settings, but files stored on iCloud Drive can only be viewed and opened from within a compatible app. Only then can you see everything you've got available to you in iCloud Drive. On a Mac, iCloud controls are accessed via the System Preferences pane. Here you can choose what basic stuff you want to auto-sync and not auto-sync from your Mac. For manual file sharing between apps on your Mac and your devices, iCloud Drive automatically sets up a handy folder on your hard drive. Anything you put in iCloud Drive will sync to correctly set up iPhones or iPads. On a Windows computer or tablet, iCloud Drive can only be accessed via web browser at iCloud.com. If you want to sync your photos, or say, easily get your hands on that wedding video of your uncle doing his signature dance move to T-Pain at your cousin's wedding, you might consider enabling the iCloud photo library. It's just like the regular photo section of your iPhone or iPad, kinda. It's part of iCloud and iCloud Drive, and yet not. It syncs like they do, and puts things in the cloud like they do, yet it's a separate entity. Doesn't sound too different from iCloud photo syncing, but iCloud Photo Library does have some cool new tricks up its sleeve. For example, to help prevent you from running out of storage on your phone, iCloud Drive can automatically store high-res versions of your visual media in the cloud and save smaller sized versions on your device for you. So check it out. Want more info on iCloud or other things Apple? Here are a few good places to start. Do you really face a greater risk of medical error or even mortality than someone who entered the hospital only a few weeks earlier? Hillary According to medical in a small lore, twist that she's actually forcing Allie to write the note so that when she kills her, it looks like a suicide. 